The Arkansas River is a major tributary of the Mississippi River. It generally flows to the east and southeast as it traverses the U.S. states of Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas. The river's source basin lies in the western United States in Colorado, specifically the Arkansas River Valley, where the headwaters derive from the snowpack in the Sawich and Mosquito Mountain ranges. It then flows east into the Midwest via Kansas, and finally into the south through Oklahoma and Arkansas. At 1,469 miles 2 kilometers, it is the sixth longest river in the United States, the second longest tributary in the Mississippi–Missouri system, and the 45th longest river in the world. Its origin is in the Rocky Mountains in Lake County, Colorado, near Leadville. In 1859, placer gold discovered in the Leadville area brought thousands seeking to strike it rich, but the easily recovered placer gold was quickly exhausted. The Arkansas River's mouth is at Napoleon, Arkansas, and its drainage basin covers nearly 170,000 square miles square kilometers. In terms of volume, the river is much smaller than the Missouri and Ohio rivers, with a mean discharge of about 40,000 cubic feet per second, 1, cubic meters per second. The Arkansas from its headwaters to the 100th meridian west formed part of the U.S.-Mexico border from the adams onis Treaty in force 1821 until the Texas Annexation or Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo. Pronunciations Name pronunciation varies by region. Many people in western states, including Kansas and parts of Colorado, pronounce it R. Khan. People in Oklahoma, Arkansas, parts of Colorado, and the majority of the remaining United States typically pronounce it Arcane Saw, which is how the Arkansas state is always pronounced according to a state law passed in 1881. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Physical geography. Topic: <laughs> 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 Course changes. The path of the Arkansas River has changed over time. Sediments from the river found in a Palea channel next to Nolan, a site in the Tenses Basin, show that part of the river's meander belt flowed through up to 5,200 BP. Whilst it was previously thought that this relict channel was active at the same time as another relict of Mississippi River's meander belt, it has been shown that this channel of the Arkansas was inactive approximately 400 years before the Mississippi Channel was active. Hydrography. <inaudible> <inaudible> The Arkansas has three distinct sections in its long path through central North America. At its headwaters beginning near Leadville, Colorado, the Arkansas runs as a steep fast-flowing mountain river through the Rockies in its narrow valley, dropping 4,600 feet .4 kilometers in 120 miles 193 kilometers. This section supports extensive whitewater rafting, including the numbers near Granite, Colorado, Browns Canyon, and the Royal Gorge. At Canyon City, Colorado, the Arkansas River Valley widens and flattens markedly. Just west of Pueblo, Colorado, the river enters the Great Plains. Through the rest of Colorado, Kansas, and much of Oklahoma, it is a typical Great Plains riverway, with wide, shallow banks subject to seasonal flooding and periods of dwindling flow. Tributaries include the Cimarron River and the Salt Fork Arkansas River. In eastern Oklahoma the river begins to widen further into a more contained consistent channel. To maintain more reliable flow rates, a series of large reservoir lakes have been built on the Arkansas and its intersecting tributaries including the Canadian, Verdigris, Neosho, Grand, Illinois, and Poho rivers. These locks and dams allow the river to be navigable by barges and large river craft downriver of Muskogee, Oklahoma, where the McClellan Kerr Arkansas River navigation system joins in with the Verdigris River. Into western Arkansas, the river path works between the encroaching Boston and Washita Mountains, including many isolated, flat-topped mesas, buttes, or monadnocks such as Mount Nebo, Petite Jean Mountain, and Mount Magazine, the highest point in the state. The river valley then expands as it encounters much flatter land beginning just west of Little Rock, Arkansas. It continues eastward across the plains and forests of eastern Arkansas until it flows into the Mississippi River. 
Water flow in the Arkansas River as measured in central Kansas has dropped from approximately 248 cubic feet per second, 7 cubic meters per second average from 1944 to 1963 to 53 cubic feet per second, 1.5 cubic meters per second average from 1984 to 2003, largely because of the pumping of groundwater for irrigation in eastern Colorado and western Kansas. Important cities along the Arkansas River include Pueblo, Colorado, Garden City, Kansas, Dodge City, Kansas, Wichita, Kansas, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Fort Smith, Arkansas, and Little Rock, Arkansas. The I-40 bridge disaster of May 2002 took place on I-40's crossing of Kerr Reservoir on the Arkansas River near Weber's Falls, Oklahoma. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Allocation problems. Since 1902, Kansas has claimed Colorado takes too much of the river's water, resulting in a number of lawsuits before the U.S. Supreme Court that continue to this day, generally under the name of Kansas v. Colorado. The problems over the possession and use of Arkansas River water by Colorado and Kansas led to the creation of an interstate compact or agreement between the two states. While Congress approved the Arkansas River Compact in 1949, the compact did not stop further disputes by the two states over water rights to the river. The Kansas-Oklahoma-Arkansas River Basin Compact was created in 1965 to promote mutual consideration and equity over water use in the basin shared by those states. It led to the Kansas-Oklahoma-Arkansas River Commission, which was charged with administering the compact and reducing pollution. The compact was approved and implemented by both states in 1970, and has been in force since then. <inaudible> Riverway commerce The McClellan Kerr Arkansas River navigation system begins at the Tulsa port of Catoosa on the Verdigris River, enters the Arkansas River near Muskogee, and runs via an extensive lock and dam system to the Mississippi River. Through Oklahoma and Arkansas, dams which artificially deepen and widen the river to sustain commercial barge traffic and recreational use give the river the appearance of a series of reservoirs. The McClellan Kerr Arkansas River navigation system diverts from the Arkansas River 2.5 miles kilometers upstream of the Wilbur D. Mills Dam to avoid the long winding route which the lower Arkansas River follows. This circuitous portion of the Arkansas River between the Wilbur D. Mills Dam and the Mississippi River was historically bypassed by river vessels, early steamboats instead following a network of rivers—known as the Arkansas Post Canal—which flowed north of the lower Arkansas River and followed a shorter and more direct route to the Mississippi River. When the McClellan Kerr Arkansas River navigation system was constructed between 1963 and 1970, the Arkansas Post Canal was significantly improved, while the lower Arkansas River continued to be bypassed by commercial vessels. The river in history Many nations of Native Americans lived near, or along, the 1,450-mile stretch of the Arkansas River for thousands of years. The first Europeans to see the river were members of the Spanish Coronado expedition on June 29, 1541. Also in the 1540s, Hernando de Soto discovered the junction of the Arkansas with the Mississippi. The Spanish originally called the river Nepeste. The name. Arkansas was first applied by Father Jacques Marquette, who called the river Akansa in his Journal of 1673. The Joliet Marquette expedition traveled the Mississippi River from Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin towards the Gulf of Mexico, but turned back at the mouth of the Arkansas River. By that time, they had encountered Native Americans carrying European trinkets, and feared confrontation with Spanish conquistadors. Jean-Baptiste Bernard de la Harpe, a French trader, explorer and nobleman had led an expedition into what is now Oklahoma in 1718-19. His original objective was to establish a trading post near the present city of Texarkana, Arkansas, but he then extended his trip overland as far north as the Arkansas River which he designated as the Alkansas. The explorer wrote he and nine other men, including three Caddo guides and twenty-two horses loaded with trade goods had come to a native settlement overlooking the river, where there were about six thousand natives, who gave the strangers a warm welcome. La Harpe's party were honored with the Calumet ceremony and spent ten days at this location. 
In 1988, evidence of a native village was discovered along the Arkansas River 13 miles 21 kilometers south of present-day Tulsa, Oklahoma. By then, the site was known as the Lasley Vore site. French traders and trappers who had opened up trade with Indian tribes in Canada and the areas around the Great Lakes began exploring the Mississippi and some of its northern tributaries. They soon learned that the birch bark canoes, which had served them so well on the northern waterways, were too light for use on the southern rivers, such as the Arkansas. They turned to making and using dugout canoes, which they called pirogues, made by hollowing out the trunks of cottonwood trees. Cottonwoods are plentiful along the streams of the southwest and grow to large sizes. The wood is soft and easily worked with the crude tools carried by both the French and Indians. The pirogues were sturdier and could be more for navigating the sandbars and snags of the southern waterways. In 1819, the Adams Onis Treaty set the Arkansas as part of the frontier between the United States and Spanish Mexico. This continued until the United States annexed Texas after the Mexican American War, in 1846. The treaty was made shortly after Old Settler Cherokees moved to near what became known as Weber's Falls on the Arkansas River. That area, then part of Arkansas Territory would become Indian Territory and later Oklahoma, was traditional territory of the Osage, leading to conflict and a treaty in 1828 but still unresolved by the time thousands of additional Cherokee refugees moved to the area during the Trail of Tears. By the time Fort Smith was established in 1817, larger capacity watercraft became available to transport goods up and down the Arkansas. These included flatboats, bateaux, and keelboats. Along with the pirogues, they transported piles of deer, bear, otter, beaver and buffalo skins up and down the river. Agricultural products such as corn, rice, dried peaches, beans, peanuts, snake root, sarsaparilla, ginseng had grown in economic importance. On March 31, 1820, the Comet became the first steamboat to successfully navigate part of the Arkansas River, reaching a place called Arkansas Post, about 60 miles (97 kilometers) above the confluence of the Arkansas and the Mississippi rivers. In mid-April, 1822, the Robert Thompson, towing a keelboat, was the first steamboat to navigate the Arkansas as far as Fort Smith. For five years, Fort Smith was known as the head of navigation for steamboats on the river. It lost the title to Fort Gibson in April, 1832, when three steamboats, Velocipede, Scioto and Catawba, all arrived at Fort Gibson later that month. Later, the Santa Fe Trail followed the Arkansas through much of Kansas, picking it up near Great Bend and continuing through to La Junta, Colorado, unless users elected to take the challenging Cimarron Cutoff in Cimarron, Kansas. Topic. American Civil War During the American Civil War, each side tried to prevent the other from using the Arkansas and its tributaries as a route for moving reinforcements. Initially, the Union Army abandoned its forts in the Indian Territory, including Fort Gibson and Fort Smith, in order to maximize its strength for campaigns elsewhere, while the Confederate Army sent troops from Texas to support its Native American allies. Union troops returned later in the war, after defeating the Confederates at the Battle of Pea Ridge and the Battle of Fort Smith, and began recovering the position it had previously abandoned, most notably Fort Gibson, reopening the Arkansas River as a supply route. In September 1864, a body of Confederate irregulars led by General Stand Waddy successfully ambushed a Union supply ship bound for Fort Gibson. The vessel was destroyed, and a part of its cargo was looted by the Confederates. Post-Civil War In the 1880s, Charles Buffalo Jones, one of the co-founders of Garden City, Kansas, organized four irrigation companies to take water 100 miles from the Arkansas River to cultivate 75,000 acres 300 square kilometers of land. By 1890, water from the Arkansas was being used to irrigate more than 20,000 acres 8,100 hectares of farmland in Kansas. By 1910, irrigation projects in Colorado had caused the river to stop flowing in July and August. Flooding in 1927 severely damaged or destroyed nearly every levee downstream of Fort Smith, and led to the development of the Arkansas River Flood Control Association. It also led to the federal government assigning responsibility of flood control and navigation on the Arkansas to the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers USACOE. Topic. Angling 
The headwaters of the Arkansas River in central Colorado have been known for exceptional trout fishing, particularly fly fishing, since the 19th century, when greenback cutthroat trout dominated the river. Today, brown trout dominate the river, which also contains rainbow trout. Trout Unlimited considers the Arkansas one of the top 100 trout streams in America, a reputation the river has had since the 1950s. From Leadville to Pueblo, the Arkansas River is serviced by numerous fly shops and guides operating in Buena Vista, Salida, Canyon City and Pueblo. The Colorado Division of Wildlife provides regular online fishing reports for the river. A fish kill occurred on December 29, 2010, in which an estimated 100,000 freshwater drum lined the Arkansas River bank. An investigation, conducted by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission, found the dead fish cover 17 miles of river from the Ozark Lock and Dam downstream to River Mile 240, directly south of Hartman, Arkansas. Tests later indicated the likely cause of the kill was gas bubble trauma caused by opening the spillways on the Ozark Dam. <inaudible> <inaudible> image gallery <inaudible> <inaudible> Notes <inaudible> See also Ackerman Island Kansas v. Colorado List of crossings of the Arkansas River List of longest rivers of the United States by main stem Listing of rivers for each state, Colorado, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas McClellan Kerr Arkansas River Navigation System References External links Colorado-Kansas-Arkansas River Compact Friends of the Arkansas River Aquifer Saturation Map for Equus Beds Aquifer Recharge Project Arkansas River Coalition Full-scale map Santa Fe Trail Research Wichita Water Center Tours Animated map of navigation system Encyclopedia of Oklahoma History and Culture – Arkansas River Oklahoma Digital Maps, Digital Collections of Oklahoma and Indian Territory. Arkansas, a River of the United States of America. Encyclopædia Britannica, 11th ed., 1911. Arkansas River. New International Encyclopedia, 1905. Arkansas. Encyclopædia Britannica, 2, 9th ed., 1878. Arkansas River is discussed at the end of this article. Arkansas, a S.W. River of the United States. The American Cyclopedia, 1879.